Hi there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm going to be working on a Father's Day card and I'm using a stamp set from Uchi's Designs. It's called Hipster Owls. So here I have trimmed down some Nina Solar White cardstock to four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to stamp that using a Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm going to do some Copic coloring today. So here I'm going to get started with my coloring. I am by no means a Copic expert, but I really like working with them. And I don't have a ton of colors, but I did pick up a pack that was just skin tones. So I'm using four of the five skin tones that came in that. And I'm just going to layer using my lightest color to go all over the whole base of what I'm coloring. And then I will move in with my next darkest color to the next one to the next one. I just kind of blend those until I get a look that I like. Like I said, I don't have a ton of Copic markers. Uh, when I purchased mine, and I got mine at Dick Blick, they have the least expensive pricing that I found so far for individual markers. What I did was I chose a light, a medium, and a dark in each color, and then I'll work to blend those colors together. So to help me out with that, I'm using two grays. And what I'm doing here is just laying down a all-over coat of the medium blue and then starting from the bottom up I'm going to use my dark blue, a medium gray, and a light gray to sort of blend that out and then I'll go back over that with the medium blue and then go tip to tip with that medium blue onto the dark blue and just slowly blend that out until I get a gradient that I'm happy with. I was thinking that I wanted to use maybe a blue and white stripe as a background to this panel. So I looked through my Sugar Pea Designs Sugar and Spice paper set and I just gave you a quick flip through there so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Uh, but I ended up deciding to use this red, white, and blue stripe. So I've trimmed this down to four by five and a quarter. And then once I laid that against my card, I decided I wanted to make the front panel a little smaller. So I ended up trimming that down to three and a half by four and three quarters.
So here off camera, you'll see that I went ahead and trimmed out the center of that paper. You weren't going to see it anyway, so I figured I might as well save it in case I might be able to use it on another card someday. And using my ATG gun, I'm just going to center that on top of an A2 size card base. And this card base is made from my favorite things cardstock in the color Wild Cherry. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut out some fun foam and I'll use that to pop up the front panel of the card. Next, I'm going to stamp my sentiment on the inside of the card. I have gone ahead and added a panel of Nina Solar White, and this is trimmed down to four by five and a quarter. And this stamp set I'm using for Happy Father's Day, it originally came in a paper pumpkin kit, uh, which you can get from Stampin' Up! It's a monthly kit that they send out. And this was from May 2016, so I'm not sure if you can find this stamp set anymore. It might have just been a single release with the... Um, with that card kit, but if I can find a link, I will post it for you. And I'm using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink to stamp that. And then uh, my dad has a mustache and this car stamp set came with a bunch of fun little extras, umbrellas and hats and different mustaches. So I thought I would go ahead and add this. If I had been thinking, I would have stamped it before I finished the card, but I forgot so since I had that fun foam underneath there it actually worked just fine here I'm using my uniball signo white gel pen just to leave a little accent on the lapel and pockets of his jacket And I'm going to add some glossy accents to the glasses to give them a little bit of shine. Here you'll get a look at some of those extras that came in the stamp set. Um, this is an umbrella, a top hat, and a mustache, and I just decided to stamp those along the corner of the envelope I'm going to use. I did also go ahead and then stamp the word dad, which was also included in that paper pumpkin stamp set I used for Happy Father's Day earlier. And that will complete our card for today. Close-ups of the card as well as a full list of supplies can be found at my blog post, list in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.